Hi, how are you going? Thank you so much for stopping by today. My name's Katrina and this is my channel Create Something Pretty. I like to talk about sewing patterns, um, just making clothing, that sort of thing. If you're interested in that as well, I'd love it if you'd stick around. Today's video is going to be all the things that I made for the month of August. Uh, August is the last month of winter here and I I think by that stage I was really getting sick of winter and I was craving colour and some more interesting things so I have a bit of a mixed batch of things to show you but also being winter I had kids homesick for a lot of August. I feel like I have not had a single week without kids home this term at all. We have two more weeks left uh, of this, I think it's term three at the moment, two more weeks left and my kids are home for two weeks. So I don't, I don't know what's even happened. I didn't even realize the school holidays were that close to I put my calendar over. So yeah, hopefully they stay at school now for the next two weeks and I get a little bit more time to do some sewing for those holidays here. So I had not a great month sewing wise. I only really made two garments last month. Actually, I made three, but one is for a collaboration and I can't show it to you yet, but you'll get to see it in time. Uh, I also, I did a little bit of uh, mending and I made, oh, I did a lot of crochet as well. Uh, I have something here to show you, which I'm so excited about. And I made one last item last week. I did start it. I trialed it twice in August and I only just finished it off this weekend. So I thought it's still the same week that August was in. So I will show that to you as well. So I hope you'll enjoy seeing those. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit mixed, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I also have the patterns to show you and yeah, let's get on with it. So the first thing that I made in August was my Hello Gorgeous blouse from Pattern Emporium. And this was one that I was um, wanting to make for some time because I was after these puffy sleeves. Uh, I love the colour of this. This is um, a recycled cotton from Spotlight. I had this in my stash, so it was a stash busting project. Um, I Actually, I was really proud of my cover stitching. I, I haven't had a lot of chance to use my cover stitch machine and I'm still perfecting how to do it <laughs> and I did use a cover stitch to uh, cover stitch around the, the neck band here and at the hem and I'm so proud of the job that I did it's nice and even so, um, I was really proud of how that that turned out and also because when you cover stitch you're cover stitching from um, you cover stitching so you can't see the seam allowance you cover stitch from this side and you need to catch this in on the opposite side so I'm still yet to figure out how to get this edge to go under nice and neatly but you pretty much need to make sure you've lined up your uh, hem nice and evenly to get that to sit nice that well that's how it works on my cover stitch machine I've never used any other machine so yeah I was really proud of how that came um, how that turned out because it's quite easy to mess it up so that was the first one I made the uh, hello gorgeous tea by Patton Emporium I chose the elbow length sleeves and I I think in hindsight uh, something I would have done differently I would like to actually take out some of the fullness of these sleeves. I, I feel like they're a bit too full and it makes it look a little bit more um, dressy than I wanted. I was more after a casual top, something that I could wear all the time, where I feel like this is a little bit too dressy as it is. Uh, I went for the higher scoop because pattern and pouring patterns have a lot of options for the neckline. So this is actually the higher scoop and um yeah i think that's everything i need to show you i use um i think i can't think of the name of the label maker of this one this is um a quilting supply oh hold on two seconds i'll just find out who it is i'll put the name of who these labels are from down the bottom i got them from a quilting shop in western australia and they are the prettiest labels 
Um, I know they're quite popular overseas and at the time I was so excited to get them because I hadn't seen them in Australia anywhere prior to then but I'm pretty sure Kristen from the Dallas Society has uh, similar ones from the same design in her shop. So that was the first thing that I made for August and I'll make sure I have some pictures put in of me wearing it, hopefully some footage. I was hoping to go outside and get some footage today but um, the weather's been home with my schedule. I feel like um, every, the minute I think it's sunny, it's not. <laughs> So I'll uh, hopefully I get a chance to get that footage in and you'll get to see that as well. I'm also wearing another Pattern Emporium pattern. Um, this is the All An Easy Fit uh, shirt. And I love this pattern. I love this shirt. This is using a recycled, is it recycled? No, I got it from a secondhand shop or a thrift shop. Um, it's just a flannelette and I wear this all the time. I've washed it just recently so it's now got all of the um, all the markings for the buttons are gone and it's softened up a little bit as well so I'm actually really looking forward to making another one so I'll talk more about that a little bit later. So the second item I made, excuse me just throwing things on the floor, <laughs> the second item I made was using this pattern, this is a McCall's 8240 and I made the top version here and I that, this one has buttons on the placket and I chose to just leave mine plain and this is what I made this is it was a little bit challenging <laughs> um yeah it's um I'll just take it off the hanger so you can see it a bit more clearly um so i Found, okay, so the instructions for the collar I didn't feel were very clear. Um, I didn't understand without closely looking at the diagrams that this neckline was supposed to end on the placket. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting in here is coming and going. It's, ah, there we go. So this bit here, I didn't realise that this was supposed to end on the placket and I thought I had messed it up, but it turns out I hadn't. Um, I did actually mess up, uh, I think it was the placket. Uh, yeah, actually this, this whole piece here, I actually cut it out backwards. I cut this piece here, this is supposed to go up, there's a, inside the collar there's a piece that looks like this. Um, it's, it was supposed to be the other way around, so mine isn't quite the right shape, but it didn't actually matter. I end up fixing it, turning it the other way around, and it's covered anyway, so you can't tell. And I also end up hand stitching this on because I did not understand how that was supposed to go in. I couldn't figure out another way of making that work, so I hand stitched that in. Uh, the other thing with it was I found the plaque out. It's a dark colour, and it's very hard to see, but... That's what I wear. <laughs> I like dark colours. That's, that's just me. Um, let's see if I hold it up. It might be easy to understand. Um, I The front placket. I have photos of this on Instagram. I have photos of both this one and the Hello Gorgeous on Instagram. The part where the placket ends at the front here. This is really, really hard to get it to not have pulls in it. And I think that really takes away from the finished look i think it makes it look very homemade <laughs> and i really was not happy with that at all uh, i pulled i undid stitches to make sure it wouldn't pull and then i hand stitched it and i'm still not 100 percent happy with it i don't want it to be obvious that i've made my clothes i want them to look like um from the outside at least i don't want anyone to be able to tell that i've made my clothes I think also I could have used a heavier interfacing in the collar as well. I can't remember if they've actually said to put interfacing in it, but I just feel like this is just not, I think I might have used a, a new interfacing. And I think if I had used a more stable interfacing, it might have made it sit a bit better, but it's quite floppy. So yeah, I'm not 100% happy with this one. I haven't worn it yet. I'm trying to keep it clean so that 
but it was ready for this video so um, I might get a bit more wear out of it in the next coming weeks so that was McCall's 8240 and this this is also made with another recycled cotton that I got on clearance quite some time ago I had a lot of this fabric and I've actually really enjoyed sewing with it and I think I think I got it for something ridiculous like three dollars a meter something really really cheap and I got a lot of it and I'm hoping this still somewhere because I really like it it's quite stable to work with um I really like um I hopefully this will show up I like the fleck in it I just think it makes it look a bit more like something you'd find in the shops like in like in a ready to made item and yeah I just really like it I just Hopefully I can get some more wear out of it, and if not, I am very tempted to modify that front piece because I really like this style. <laughs> I like a collar on me. I think it looks dressy and it goes with my shape. <laughs> so that was the second item that I made for August. So the third item was not clothing. <laughs> this was getting quite late in the piece, and when my kids were very, very little, I actually I think it's before they were born. I made them both a cot blanket and my kids have absolutely treasured them. My daughter has it on her bed every night. She's now um, she's now 10. <laughs> Can't keep up. <laughs> and it has really, really worn out. It's quite faded now. Um, been washed a lot of times. So this is the quilt that I made my daughter and I'll make sure I get a full length picture. Keeping in mind, it is quite old now. It's 10 years old. <laughs> Um, I'll show you what I can. So this was falling apart and I had to go through and do a lot of mending. Um, it's, I don't know how much longer I can keep it going because this cotton, this is all quilting cotton. I think I might have gotten it from Spotlight quite a while back. This is getting really, really thin and I have had to go back. I don't know if you can be able to see the stitching, but I've had to go back and re-stitch. Oh, there you go. Every seam has, that came apart, so I've re-stitched this. I've had to sew down these little elephant um, people, little elephants on here. I have had to stitch them back down again. You can see the lines where they were originally, and they've frayed and come apart. Um, I've sewed those back down. And there's a part here which really came apart. I had to do a proper patching job here <laughs> it's quite a mess i tried to keep it as a consistent sort of stitch so it didn't look too messy but yeah there's not a whole lot i could do there so that was quite a mess uh yeah it was quite a job trying to get these to keep it going um i've zigzagged a few stitches here because i would just that worn uh where is that one where is my zigzagging there it is so there's a few zigzags in here. I just didn't want them to look too obvious. So I've had to go all the way over this blanket. This is something that I just put some patches together. Um, I put some applique creatures on it, totally my own design. And then I've backed it with some, this is quite old now. Um, I think this is a fleece, like a baby sort of fleece. It was quite soft and nice when I first made it. And yeah, my kids have loved these. They've had them on their beds every night. They absolutely treasure them. They've had them since they were tiny, tiny babies. So um, yeah, that's a bit of my quilting. <laughs> I just threw them together. Um, no real pattern. I just sort of w dreamed up the design as I went. So that's a little bit of my quilting. <laughs> and my quilts are by no means done correctly they've done the quick and yeah finished I got it done to the style so yeah um I'm actually quite happy with them and I think they're a nice quick job for when you have little kids so that was my daughter's quilt so that was the third thing that I got done in August so the last item that I sewed. I have one item that isn't a sewn one as well to show you. So there's still two to go. And the last item I made is using this pattern. This is Helen's Closet Gilbert Tea. Gilbert shirt. 
I had heard so many good things about this pattern and it's all over Instagram. There's so many examples of people who have made it. Um, I was quite excited to get a chance to finally make it. And I have used a fabric that was in my stash that wasn't going to be devastating if I didn't like it. Um, though I was hoping to actually like it. <laughs> and it's quite bright and a little bit different to anything else that I have ever, ever sewn with, ever made. You can decide if you like it. And I have to cover the label because it's a bit sweary. This is what I made. <laughs> This is the Helen's Closet Gilbert shirt. Um, I'm sorry I have to cover that label because YouTube may not like it very much. It is a very uh, sweary label. I'll, I'll tell you what it says. Uh, I am a boss. Uh, there's another word in there and it starts with an F. Okay, so you can just imagine what that is. Uh, yeah, so I put that label on there. It was the right colour for this shirt. Hopefully that's not showing. Um... Yeah, I the fabric is very lightweight. The fabric was really hard to work with. Uh, the buttons are from my stash. I I I don't know that I love it. <laughs> oh, but I'm a little bit disappointed actually. I after having made this shirt, I found that there was like a lot of faffing around with this shirt, and I. When you do the seams, um, there's a lot of grading seams, so you have to cut each. Uh, so you say like in the yoke, there's three pieces of fabric, you have to cut them within quarter inch length of each other to grade them. And there was a lot of that. And plus it has a facing um, inside it. I think she has done everything in a very professional way. And for me being a home sewist, I don't mind. <laughs> God, I would prefer it to be quick and easy to make than do it in a very professional way. I cannot get that last button undone. Why is it not undoing? It's my lovely buttonholes. Okay. So I can show you this without showing that slow word. Okay. So inside there's a facing that goes all the way into the shoulder seam, which is here. And it runs down the placket. And every shirt that I have done has had just a facing just here for the placket and i would much prefer just a facing here rather than it running all the way into the seam and i just find that that was just annoying i didn't enjoy doing that at all and i towards the end of this i completely stopped following the instructions and just did it my own way because it was just too much baffing around for me uh, i ended up uh the placket because i did the few i did the one she's wearing i haven't done the tie front i've just done this one which is just like a normal shirt i end up doing the one that on the bottom you're supposed to um see i've just folded my hem up because i would quite frankly got sick of it <laughs> uh you're supposed to fold this inside and then sew it and then you turn it out and then you have a nice neat hem I just decided I just wanted it done. I was just so over it. Uh, just all the graying in the seams is taking me forever. Um, it's probably a very professional way of doing it, but I wasn't enjoying it. So I just decided to do it my own way. I completely stopped following the instructions for putting the sleeves in. And I just did everything from there on my own way. Um, so, yeah, um, I think I was a little bit worried about how it was going to look in the end as well considering the fabric that i was using i was very unsure of this fabric <laughs> uh, but i'll put some photos of me in wearing it and tell me what you think like i'm not sure how much like i think i'm on the fence i don't really know if i love it i don't really know if i hate it i think i need to wait for the weather to warm up so i can really decide sorry yeah, that was the last item that i that i sewed now, I have one more item to show you that I knitted, and it is right here in front of us. <laughs> I finished this just this morning, and if you haven't guessed already, if you're watching my videos, you'll know what this is. This is my granny hexagon cardigan. It is completely done. I have not photographed, um, actually, this or the other shirt. I haven't photographed either of these things yet, so you're getting the very first look of it, because I only finished it about half an hour before I made this video. <laughs> so I 
end up going for a slightly longer length because my yarn is a little bit on the heavier side. It's actually quite weighty. Um, yeah, so I went for a longer length because I wanted it to be something that I would get a lot of wear out of. I put buttons on it. That was a last minute decision. I feel like it was falling off my shoulders a bit. So I just put the button on it and that completely solved it. So I'll make sure I put some photos in of me wearing this as well. I The last time I spoke to you, we were discussing sleeves. Uh, I was debating because I'd messed them up. Like, this is actually supposed to be uh, a gap in between here. And I did actually go back and trial that and see if I like that better. But I decided to go with just what I've done here uh, because it was more comfortable. It just felt softer and nicer on my sleeves and I felt on oh, my sleeves, on my wrists. And it felt like it sort of um, held in place a bit better, like it's a little bit tighter. So I stuck with this finish and I quite like it. Thank you to everyone who commented and made suggestions to just do what you want because it's your cardigan. Thank you. I really, really appreciated that because I am new to crochet and um, this is probably, I think this is the second ever cardigan that I've ever made using crochet. And I was just really determined. I didn't want to make another item that I wasn't going to wear. <laughs> so that's why I lengthened it and it will be a really nice cozy jumper. I may even get a bit of wear out of this in the summer because it's got the gaps or the holes in it. It does get a little bit warm after a little bit. Uh, in the winter, I'll probably need to wear something long sleeved with it. But I just, I really love it. I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. I'll see if I can do those buttons up for you. I, I'm debating whether I want to go back and do a proper buttonhole so that you can tell where your ears. Otherwise, I'm likely to have an uneven hem once I do them up. And I'm not sure that that's a good look. <laughs> so... Yeah, that is the last item that I made. I am so excited now to get started to sewing for spring. Um, very um, yeah, I I, I have been buying stuff. <laughs> I bought a lot lately. Um, there's been a lot of sales, and that is that's my um Achilles heel. <laughs> kind of get stuck with it with the sales. I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to making another one of these shirts. I'm quite keen to give that a go. And I'm really looking forward to um, making dresses and things. I'm so excited about spring coming up. And we've already had a few really nice days in the 20, in the 20 degrees sort of area. I think this week is not going to be great. <laughs> This is, today is a massive tease, like the, the sun is out now and messing up my light and then probably about five minutes it'll be raining again. <laughs> Typical Melbourne weather, this is why we wear layers because you don't know what's going to happen. So that is everything that I made for the month of August. I'm hoping September will be a little bit better. I'm um, Actually I'm really excited about starting another knitting project because I bought a new pattern. I should be using the ones I've got but doesn't matter. <laughs> I just want to make something that will teach me what I need to learn and I feel like I need to take a step back to do that. So that's why I bought this new pattern. So hopefully next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to have for you next week. I was thinking about doing my purchases uh, for August. I do have a collaboration with um, Claire from Stitch and Sew coming up. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to happen either but hopefully this month uh, then I can show you what I actually one of the other items that I finished uh, I, yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm going to show you next week uh, it might be a nice surprise <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing what I made thank you so much for stopping to watch my video and if you did like it please give me a thumbs up that would be wonderful and if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would get on there and subscribe to my channel and see what I have for you next week. And um, hit the notification bell and that will tell you when my video actually comes out. So thank you so much for watching my video. So I will see you again next week. I'll see you then.